Hello again, folks, and it's another follow-up on the Squire Classic Vibe Series guitars. Uh, again, the only thing I've touched at the moment has been two of the um, Stratocasters. I have a Squire Classic Vibe 50s sitting over on the couch still, which uh, I very much need to rip into... Uh, either myself or hire somebody to wire wire it uh, wire it properly. Unfortunately, it seems to have some kind of grounding issue. I don't know why, and I assume the original pickups are in it. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it or whatnot, but uh, it's in really good shape for an 07 or 08, so it's a first year. So, anyways, again, how much these are. You know, again, great little killer steals slash deals on the used market. Um, and it's pretty much, um, it for the most part. Uh, so again, I managed to score this, which is a um, 2011 um, Classic Vibe 60s. And uh, I got this actually for 200 used. Uh, didn't have a tremolo, so uh, I've had it for maybe two months, three months now. I'm not exactly sure. Um, so I've had some time. Uh, don't mind the smudge marks, but just again to give these guys a bit of a closer view on. What these things actually look like up close. Again, pickups in it are uh, Tone Riders uh, 60 style pickups, um, three ply pickguard, uh, six uh, screech molo. Again, uh, it's not too heavy, uh, relatively nice. Uh, Rosewood me uh, fingerboard. Uh, again, I've given it an oil um, to kind of give it a little bit of life back into it. Again, the it's a '50s. There's a little bit of a ding there on the very tip. Uh, beyond that, though. The neck has no issues whatsoever with it. Uh, Body-wise, it's a different story. And here you can see it's actually a really nice three-tone finish. And as you notice, I got the pickup. Uh, I'm sorry, I have the tremolo plate off. You can kind of give a better idea on actually what it looks like in there. It's, it's pretty tight and again as you can see there that's the the pretty El Cheapo blocks that they put in it. Uh, beyond that it's a um, if I look at the wood correctly you can see the lines. It's I believe it's a, a two might be a, th I think it's a, um, it's a three plus, I'd say it's probably a three to five piece Adler body that they've thrown onto this. Um, again, uh, finish is nice. Uh, again, other reasons why I got it for cheap. As you can see right there, the nice little Ding, a little bit of scratch. Um, and the one obvious part, you can see it just barely right there. I actually went in and uh, used some, I used some of my salmon um, wood dye and. Uh, Put it back 
and then I used some of the uh, wipe on poly to kind of finish it up. The neck has a nice wood grain into it. A nice little bit of flaming in it. And again, serial number the uh, vintage tuners. Again, crafted in China, which as far as I know is from the court. I think it's the court factory. I think that's how court gets, um, you know, you can kind of see a bit of nice flaming and figure in this neck, so it's, an, it's a um, 011 neck. Just kind of give other kind of unique views to the headstock and that. Uh, the tuners are just a cheap tuner, they're not a Wilkinson, but a or vintage Wilkerson style tuner. Um, the neck plate does actually say on it. It says Squire by Fender. <laughs> it's not actually silvered out like the main made in Mexico ones. Um, so again I paid two hundred for this. Um, it had a an old set of strings on it or whatever, so uh, I uh, decided to play it with the original strings for a while, make sure it was all nice and functional. But I actually got back into tr trying out a set of these uh, Fender Super Bullets. Uh, again, the lights, the 9 through 42s. Um, definitely has a lot has changed with these um, strings since I had used them years upon years ago, which I mean is like. 87, 86, 87. I used to use only silver bullets on my uh, uh, made in Japan 68 reissue Stratocaster. Um, that looked a bit like Hendrix's white one. Again, the other stupid thing with these is it's the two strings in a package crap. It makes it really hard to try to string. And I was kind of pulling my hair out trying to go, okay, one, four, two, five, three, six. It's like, oh, drift me nuts. So anyways, enough of my babbling. Um, I am going to um, hook it in, and I'm just going to uh, try to play some clean and try to play some dirty to kind of give you an idea on uh, how the actual guitar sounds and then uh, just thread it up. I know this is already a lot of talking so uh, again don't look at these with a, a sad face or disgust because just because it says Squire on the headstock doesn't mean it's a crappy guitar these things are amazing deals, new and used, especially used. If you don't want to bother um, with the Made in Mexico's, uh, you can get these. If you're not crazy about the Tone Rider pups, you can swap them out, and it's a lot cheaper for one of these than a Made in Mexico. Um, so, with that said, on to the uh, sound samples. Hope you like. Again, again, sorry for the babbling. Bye for now.